Hey everybody, we're back for another episode of Dell's Dishes. We're getting gloved up here. Today we've got a special little treat. Today we're going to attempt <laughs> to smoke a whole turkey. I'll be honest, this is the first time I've ever actually tried to do it. So we'll, we'll be just going through it together and we'll see what happens. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a brine. And we're going to brine it for, I'd say about eight hours. And then we will take it out get it seasoned up, and get it on the smoker. That's what we're doing today on Dell's Dishes. All right, we're back. Today we're going to be using bird bath brine. This is from Meat Church and Matt Pittman down in Texas. Matt Pittman, if you're out there, I love, I love what you're doing. Uh, we order all of your, voodoo's my favorite. Anyway, shameless plug. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix this in, uh, probably with a gallon of water. Now, I've never used uh, a, a brine bag or a brine tank or anything. And what I did, uh, I went, I purchased uh, one of these loadouts uh, from Yeti. Uh, it needs to be food grade, whatever you're going to try to brine your turkey in. So always make sure of that. You don't necessarily have to get a Yeti. You can get brine bags, whatever it is that you want to use to make sure that it gets in. And what a brine is gonna do is we're gonna impart a lot of that moisture, a little bit of flavoring inside of the turkey. This is gonna be something that's gonna be a multi-hour cook. Uh, so we wanna make sure that it has enough moisture inside and we don't dry it out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the turkey out of the refrigerator, get it mixed, uh, get it rinsed off. If there's any wrappings on it, we're gonna take that off. Then we're going to mix up our bird brine and bird bath brine, and we're going to get that put into the loadout. We're going to uh, mix it up, and then we're going to get it in the fridge for about eight hours. You can put it on ice. If you have a spare fridge, you can put it out there, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll see you back in just a second. So we're going to get this turkey. We got a went to our local store here. We have a 14-ounce turkey. We're gonna get it cut open, rinsed off. Uh, if there's any wrappings around the legs, we're gonna make sure we take that off. Then we're gonna get this into the loadout. All right, so we have a healthy 14 pound turkey here. Uh, for some people, they like to take these out. I'm actually gonna be the one that does it as well. And that's how you do it on camera. These, uh, what that was, was actually a temperature. Uh, so as the turkey cooks, it'll pop up and that's how you know that it's done. We wanna get these let me get this off of and out of here. Uh, usually some of them, they clip the, the legs within there. Some people like neck bone. Uh, I don't know if you call that neck bone on turkey, but we're definitely gonna keep this and cook that later. Check to make sure there's nothing else in there. Sometimes they have different pieces. We're gonna get this rinsed off here. We're back. We have our turkey rinsed off, got some of that, uh, rinse it down, wiped it off just a little bit. It's going to go into a, a brine, so it's not really going to matter. We have our gallon of water here, and we have our bird bath brine. Man, that smells good. So what you want to do is you want to mix the whole entire packet into, man, 
Oh, that smells really good. Into uh, a gallon of water. And you're going to want to whisk this up. And then we'll add that to our, our loadout bucket here. Which I'll leave the, if you're wanting the loadout or the bird brine, I'll definitely leave links to those uh, in the description. And so we're going to whisk this up and we'll be right back. We have it all whisked up. So now let's get that added. I'm definitely going to pretend like I didn't. Just spill that all over the counter. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the turkey in there. And I'm going to act like I just didn't spill that all over there. Now you want it to at least be covered <coughs> by an inch. So we're just gonna add some water to displace that. And also give us a chance to get some of the rest of those good flavors in there. So we're gonna add some more water and we'll be right back. So we got it filled up. We got the water in there. We're just gonna pop the top on. Now we're gonna get into the fridge for about eight hours. You can typically do this overnight, you can do it for four hours, however you want to. You wanna allow that brine to absorb into the turkey so that it doesn't dry out during the smoking or cooking process. Uh, if you wanna add onions, if you wanna add garlic, if you wanna add oranges, whatever fits your fancy, you can add it to this brine and it, all of those things will be infused into your turkey, which will add to the profile or the flavor of your turkey. We're gonna get this into the fridge for eight hours and we will see you when we get back and get ready to put it on the smoker. We'll see hey everybody, we're back. It's a little bit of a scorcher outside, so I'm not, uh, it's really hot. It's like 95 or 96 degrees outside. Uh, we were supposed to get this out in eight hours. Uh, life happens. And uh, so we, it's been in the fridge for about 24 hours. That's fine. The biggest thing is that we're gonna want to make sure that we get all of the brine rinsed off of the turkey. We're gonna pat it dry, season it, and get it on the smoker. So we're getting gloved up here. Just pop the top off and see uh, Oh, it smells really good. All right, so we're gonna turn some cold water on. Make sure that we get all the brine off there. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a very salty, very salty turkey, and that's not what we're looking for. It's definitely gained a little bit of weight as we put it in there, as it's absorbed a lot of the brine. And that should be good. What we're going to do now is we're going to pat the turkey dry, get it seasoned up, and today we're going to use a little bit of honey hog from Meat Church. Um, we're going to just dust, I mean, very liberally add that all over the turkey, and then we're going to get it on the smoker. So we'll see you out there.
Hey everybody, got the turkey seasoned up. We're using that honey hog from Meat Church today. It's very hot outside, so that's why we're under the under the, the tent top. Got it seasoned up. Today we're gonna use the Weber Smoky Mountain. We've got it going uh, probably about 275. We're gonna get her on there and we're just gonna let it go. Touch it up with just a little bit more honey hog. Just try to even out that coating. All right, and then we're gonna get it closed up. Oh, no we're not. <laughs> Definitely wanna get this into the breastbone. That way we can monitor. Again, we got it at about 250 right now, and I mean 275, and uh, we'll check back in a little bit, maybe probably about an hour, hour and a half. See you then. It is uh, about an hour uh, and a half later, so we're going to take a look. Uh, the temps have been falling a little bit, so I'm just going to adjust uh, the little valves on there a little bit. The temps have been falling to, they're about 250 right now, so we just want to open it up just a little bit uh, to get it around that. 275 range so what you have to do is just uh, on the Weber Smoky Mountain it has some vents on the bottom so you just want to open them up a little bit to allow uh, the smoke in the air to I mean as more air is allowed in hotter fire blah 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 oh man look at that baby. so it's looking pretty good we are ooh, got a little bit of pool so we want to drain out of there a little bit, but she is looking pretty good. So again, we're using pecan. I know I didn't mention that earlier, but we have pecan wood in there with the charcoal. So we are going to close it up. Not going to spritz it or anything. We're just going to let it keep doing its work. All right. So the temps right now are at 142. So it's not that far from being done. Uh, 165 is where it should be to be completed. So we're just gonna let it go once we hit that 165. And that 165 is from deep within that breast. We wanna make sure that that's done. Uh, the outer edges, drumsticks, wings, those are all gonna get done a little bit sooner, but we wanna make sure it deep within that breast that it's gonna be at least 165 for it to be um, finished and ready to go so it looks very beautiful and you definitely as matt Pittman says you eat with your eyes before you eat the turkey so it looks really good uh once it reaches temp we'll take it inside and we'll see you then all right we're back we've let the turkey rest for about 20 minutes i have my two taste testers luke and kalel uh, we, it'll be fine really excited uh came out plump nice uh, it looks to be juicy, but we'll only know that once we really cut in. So, uh, here we go. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh! Woo! All right. Okay. Let's, it's cutting into the bone there. Oh, man. Look at the juices coming out of that. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Ooh, look at that. All right, you guys ready to try it? Oh, I don't know if you can really tell, but you got some juices, nice juices going in there. Right. Yeah, we'll taste it in just a minute. All right. Are you gonna taste it? 
Yeah. Wow, it is just coming yes, beautifully. All right, you guys ready to taste it? Yes. It's going to be hot. Say our prayer. Amen. All right. Some for you. Okay. And some for you. What do you think? You like it? Is it hot? Mm. Okay, and see that honey hog, which I forgot to have back out here. The honey hog adds a nice flavor to it. It's definitely moist, tender. Well, buddy. All right, how do you ask? Please, all right. Man, you can smell that pecan, and it's really coming through. Here you go. All right. All right, everybody. So we, we brined the turkey. Um... We put it on there, we seasoned it up, and we just let it go. Uh, total cook time was about four and a half hours. Came out very tender, moist. The season, I mean the uh, skin is nice and tight. Uh, I'm ready to dig into this, this drumstick. Uh, again, thank you guys for so much support. Uh, feel free to click, like, and subscribe to the videos to see more videos, and we'll try new things each time. Uh, definitely my first time doing the turkey, so I'm really excited. Uh, the boys love it, right? You like it? You like it? We got to taste the meat, right? All right. And we'll see you again here next time on Dell's Dishes.